Hi, this is Jeff Gergantis, director of the Donald Claffin Jury Studio at the Hopkins Center for the Arts at Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire. And today, we're going to talk about how to make a domed metal bead with a tube rivet. The core elements of this bead include two dome discs, a flat disc, and a tube rivet to bind them together. First, here's a list of the tools and materials that we use to make this bead. If you want your bead to have a texture, you're going to have to do that first. There's zillions of different ways to texture sheet metal and jewelry. Here's two possibilities. One is a texture hammer. The other is a rolling mill with a texture roller. A rolling mill is kind of like a pasta extruder for metal. Before we begin, you'll need to anneal the metal to make sure that it's soft. Now we're going to cut out three discs with holes that are exactly in the center. Before we cut out the discs, we're going to cut the sheet metal into smaller, more manageable sizes. Make sure that your rough cut metal is at least one eighth of an inch bigger than the finished discs. Now we're going to use a disc cutter to cut out the inner hole. You can use any disc cutter. I like the Pepe disc cutter because it has everything that you need to cut out a disc with a perfectly centered inner hole. Pick out a cutting mandrel that matches your tubing size. In this case, I'm matching a 3 16 cutter to 3 16 tubing. Insert the textured metal into the disc cutter with the textured side facing downward. Line up your center mark in the center of the 3 16 inch hole. Use the punch, a soft mallet, a urethane pad, and a hard surface to punch out the hole. Repeat the process and cut out the other hole. Now we're going to use the Pepe Center Finder to cut out a 1 inch disc with a perfectly centered inner hole. Line up the 3 16 inch hole approximately in the center of the 1 inch hole. Use the 1 inch center finder to perfectly center the small hole in the middle of the 1 inch circle. Tighten securely and punch out a disc with the 1 inch cutter. Repeat all of these steps to cut out a second textured disc. Now you need to cut out a third untextured 1 inch disc with a perfectly centered 3 16 inch hole. The next step is to dome the two textured discs with a dapping punch and a dapping block. Pick out an area in the dapping block that is larger than your disc. Then choose a dapping punch that is closest to your disc diameter. Make sure that the textured side is facing downward. Hammer gently until the disc is domed. Repeat with the other textured disc. File and sand the edges on all the discs so that they're smooth. Now it's time to measure and cut the tubing to length. To do that, you'll need to assemble the two dome discs and one flat disc onto the tubing. Mark the tubing to where approximately one millimeter is poking out of each end. Cut your tubing to length with a jeweler saw. A jig vise is optional. File and sand both ends of the tubing to be flat. Again, the jig miter vise is optional. Now you're going to use a small dapping punch or a handmade rivet punch to flare out one side of your tubing. Use the punch, a hammer, and an anvil surface to flare out one side of the tubing just a little bit. Now it's time to assemble all the parts together. Notice that flaring out one side of the tubing makes the tubing be centered within the bead. Now with the flared side of the tubing facing towards the anvil surface, use the dapping punch or rivet punch to flare out the other side of the tubing. Punch both sides as necessary to make them even. Finish the rivet with a flat hammer. So that's the basics of how to make a domed bead with a tube rivet. Now, as an extra special treat, and to show you what's possible with this technique, we're going to look at some jewelry by California jewelry artists Jimma and Carly Abbott. 
Jimmy and Carly are master jewelers who have taken this dome bead with a tube rivet to, well, the extreme. Their work combines multiple layers of different shapes, textures, and colors that are all held together by a single tube rivet. Their work is not only amazing, it's, well, inspiring. Thank you so much for watching. Keep an eye out for more videos coming your way from the Hopkins Center's Donald Claflin Jewelry Studio at Dartmouth College.